Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another amazing read. Go grab your stuff here. Let's do this. Today's read is called The Wolf in Underpants, and it's written by Wilfred Lupano. And the illustrations are by Mayana Itiz and Paul Kett. Let's get into this read, The Wolf in Underpants. High above the forest lives the wolf, an icy cry, crazy eyes. In these woods, we know to move our butts when the wolf comes down to eat. Extra, extra, get your forest gazette. Three more wolf attacks reported. Anti-wolf alarms are in place. Wolf traps too. Ooh. Anti-wolf fences are built. Wolf defense karate classes are in session. And they also sell wolf cry novels. Get of wolves, says this notice. Have some hazelnuts. <laughs> Let's look at the wolf. Scary indeed. Absolutely. His fangs are like ice picks. His eyes are wild. His coat so rough. Ooh. Scary. Get your hazel chips. Oh, here. Mm -mm. Whoa, the anti-wolf brigade. Thank goodness they're here. This forest pays a lot for them, but it's worth it. Greetings, citizens. It's us, the anti-wolf brigade. Rest easy. We've got your back. Here comes the wolf. Shut the door. <gasps> I think I saw his snout. I hear he's got horrible fangs inside and mean, mad eyes up top. But who's that? Is that the wolf? It can't be. And what's up with those undies? <laughs> hey, what a hoot. You scared the heck out of us. Now you gotta hide. The wolf is here. But I'm the wolf. No. We mean the other wolf. The one with the crazy eyes, with fangs like ice peaks. He lives up there. But that's me. The house up there is mine. Excuse me. But you can't possibly be the same wolf. Your eyes and at all wild. Your coat is in the list, Big Manji. As for sharp teeth, well, you do have those. It's me, I'm telling you. Impossible. The wolf, the real wolf, the one who's been scaring me since I was a tiny hedgehog will never walk around in underpants like that. Oh, these underpants? These underpants have changed my life. <laughs> See, I used to have very chilly buttocks when I would sit on the top of my rock in the evening. The stone was so cold that I'd start howling. When I would head into the forest, I couldn't sit down at all. Everything was so cold and wet. The humidity made my eyes look crazy. My hair would stand on end. Ever since I got this underpants, my butt isn't cold any longer. Comfort. It's so important. <laughs> but... Where did you get a pair of underpants like that? It was a gift. A gift? From whom? From me. He had a cold butt. I knitted him some undies. End of story. <laughs> end of story? Why? It's not the end until we say so. What? Am I banned from knitting underpants? Is there an 
anti-underpants brigade protecting the forest too? <laughs> this has to be a trick. You won't get away with this, you rascal. You've been eating animals in the forest again. Yesterday, three young pigs disappeared. The three pigs disappeared? What? But that's impossible. I get all my food at a grocery store on the other side of this forest. I even have a pocket in the side of my pants for spare change. This is a disaster. Now, who's going to buy an anti-wolf fence? And what about me and my scary wolf lectures? Plus, who will buy my wolf traps? The Forest Gazette has nothing to write about without you. What are we even going to talk about? Mm. And what about us, the Anti-Wolf Brigade? If the people aren't scared, we've got no reason to exist. Oh boy. Sorry, but maybe you need more in your lives than just fear. Anyway, I gotta go. Time for some shopping. <laughs> He's kind of funny, actually. What did he mean more than just fear? Good question. So, fear, perhaps we don't need it. Wolf crying novel, anyone? Wolf traps here? No thanks. <laughs> Anti-wolf alarms? Nope. A forest gazette? Nah. <laughs> Confused by life? Have some hazelnut. A hazelnut sausage, please. Wait a minute. If it wasn't the wolf, what happened to those little pigs who disappeared? I don't know. I guess it's a mystery. Ooh, the sneaky wolf. Well, Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me for this funny read. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, please. And until the next time, who's amazing? You, my friends. You're so amazing. It's fall season. Make sure you keep warm. <laughs>